Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Loop Hero. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today. Let's pick up where we left off. Okay, well, we're using potions. Not my favorite activity. I must be honest. And we don't replenish per day, I don't think, because we don't have meadows. Yeah. So quite, quite dangerous. Our evasion right now is 51%. So that's good. Oh, that's an oblivion up there. I definitely am not fighting those two together. One of them is quite enough, thank you very much. And no more oblivions, just a bunch of cemeteries. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, we got a experience. After losing 20% of his maximum HP, uh, the hero becomes immune. Fighting against three or more enemies will grant you an additional trophy. The hero receives 7% uh, receive damage for every enemy. I don't like that. I'll, I'll make the smoke screen, because that can save me. Especially if I'm, I'm going for a retreat, which I likely am. Considering this is this is a, a weird run of weirdness. I mean, enemy loop level 13. It's, it is weird. It is weird. And now for the gauntlet. That's where they all they all are. A few slaps in the face, you know how it goes. That's I swear. To, oh man, we got another one of those. And I don't have have oblivion. Got hit in the face by that. Of course I did. It's fine. It is fine. We have thickets. And we have a bunch of things. Nice things. Maybe. Not really. No, we did get a nice thing. Yep, that is a good one. We have 391. Just keeps going. Those numbers just keep on climbing. Keep on climbing like nobody's business. 37% evasion. Oh. Is... Wait. Does that mean... If they keep climbing... As they seem to be... My evasion is at 45. I'm sorry, the attack speed was at 51. I, s I misread it. Uh, 45 evasion. The boots alone are 37% evasion. That is just outstandingly powerful. But... Could it be possible... To just... Grind the level so high that you just get boots of 100% evasion? <laughs> and that's it. You can't be hit anymore. No... Right? That, that can't happen. Got a kitchen knife. That doesn't make sense. You would just need to reach, like, level 50 or 40. Maybe somewhere around there. Judging by the amount of, you know, the, uh, evasion that we're getting out of a level 13. Actually, it's level 14, but th th there's variations and stuff. Oh, crap! Okay, as long as they don't have an abomination in the wood forest or wood village... I forgot that there's a wood village above. Or ahead. Every time I reduce their HP. Yeah, those guys don't attack me when I don't attack them. Okay, that went out. That went alright. Every time I reduce their, their HP, I'm increasing my damage, effectively. Because none of them have magic HP. You have an oblivion? Okay, you're out. And then you can put it over here. Taking quite a beating, all things considered. It's all down to RNG, I realize. There's some some nasty some nasty fights ahead. That one in particular. We have 396, level 17. Uh, we have very good weapons finally. Okay, 396, that's a flat upgrade. That is nice, but it isn't as nice as it could be. The boots at the moment are at 39 instead of 37. The weapons are at 105. We have seen weapons of that caliber before. And then the rest maintains... Stays where it is. Hopefully evasion is going to carry me through this. Because I really wish it did. The one thing that I like out of this... Is that I know those are not going to get more than that. Because there's a beacon. I could get more beacons than I already have. I wouldn't mind that. Okay, not too not too bad. 
Oh, roll, roll side lantern beacon. Okay, very important. I wonder if I should have another one. Well, the thing is, I need to put that grove in, and I don't think I could have put it over here because I don't. Yeah, I couldn't. That was a good decision. Okay, so I think the 100% health diminishing uh, dream is out of the question. But I have gotten an easy 20% diminished. Which is really, really good. But the thing that's going to limit us is this. Oh, freaking hell, there's a village question mark. I hate the villagers question marks. Okay, put that over there. Just keep at it. The, the the things outside of the map... Ooh, another treasury. Nice. The things outside of the map are helping us a lot. Let, let's make no mistake. That That is changing the way this is going. The attack speed is incredible. The fact that they basically die very fast is also pretty incredible. Mm, the road ahead isn't looking too dire. Okay, we got groves. Still going up on those. That one is looking dire, though. We might give up right now. I don't know. I kind of want to see the boss. But these things are... We got an Oblivion, though. We got an Oblivion. We're starting to lose cards, by the way. Which is good. Big muscly dude. What is it called? The Flesh Golem. That's what it is. Punch to the face. Roadside Lantern. Very nice. Uh, can put it right here. Or right here. Right here is good, yeah. Uh, if I put a grove over there. Mm. Oh, no. I need another roadside lantern. That is good, but it's not the be-all, end-all. Yeah, they just don't become too difficult. They're still difficult, just not too difficult. Okay. This turn is the 42% boots. On evasion, we got a 41 over here with extra magic damage. We have... Oh, a level 18 boots over here. Unfortunately, they suck. Yeah. We're just stacking that evasion because... there's That's also a dream. To get to 100% evasion. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, we got a level 20 armor over here with evasion. Beautiful, because mine has evasion. And that's going to bring my magic HP up by a considerable amount. Everything else is kind of rubbish. So just keep it at it. Uh, just keep there. Keep it there, I should say. 87. Yeah. And let's see how this goes. It still hit me. Roadside Lantern. Thank you very much. Very much appreciated. Put it over there. Move on. Now we have all of these. Mm-hmm. Okay. One hit, one kill. Got hit in the face, didn't, actually. Oh, seriously? You seriously miss that often? That's a huge problem. You have an Oblivion, that's good news as well. Because we keep putting these in. I don't think we, yeah. Ooh. You know what, it is closer than what I thought it was gonna be. I'm not gonna lie. I really thought it was gonna be just, you know, us reaching the boss and just having a, a couple of, uh, groves over there, but what's, uh, but it's still, we're still halfway done, so I think, I don't think it would have, it would have gotten us anywhere, our dreams of, of the builds that I have. We're going for the boss. This is a good boss run. I have a lot of potions. Yeah. We might even go after the boss. Wait, that's the secret, isn't it? After the boss spawns... It is the secret. Oh. I, need, I didn't consider that. But then, the problem is... Yeah, you're getting out of there. Uh, the problem is, I, I, I really don't know if... If I can do that, basically. Should put stuff in there. These things. Kill the big guy. There we go. I mean, we're, we're fast tracking to spawning the boss. Mm 
We're gonna spawn the boss. Oh, we got an experience as well. Upon killing an enemy hero, sorry, an enemy, hero receives one stained glass shard. Adjacent roadside tiles, you heal, deals a full hand of oblivion. Three stained glasses. Let's go with that. Let's pass that over there. And let's spawn the boss. I think I can do that. There it is. I won't fight you right now. It's really cool. It's a really cool soundtrack. Uh, okay, what did we get? Damage to all. Oh, it's not bad. It isn't great. We have an 82 instead of an 87. Nope. Oh, two, 510. That is what it's up. Uh, we have uh, damage to all armor over here. 40% evasion on boots. No double dipping on the evasion, unfortunately, anywhere. It's a 67. No, no evasion either. Our evasion right now is 52%. So it isn't, you know, supreme or anything. But it's all right. We got another grove. Just keep piling them up. <laughs> it's, just a, it's just a beautiful road. Full of trees and niceness. And just keep getting those. What is our attack speed right now? Plus 112%. Oh, I'm using potions. I will respawn them, though. Or uh, replenish them. How did I take so much damage, I wonder? Hmm. I don't know. Got a treasury here a little bit too late to the party. I might be able to complete it, but it's not looking too great for that. I have been getting quite a lot of cards recently. But then again, that's because there's a lot of enemies. So we got to enemy loop level 16. It's starting to look like what happens, you know, in terms of me using potions. It's starting to look like what happens when we're about to die, honestly. And ahead of us, uh, there is a gaggle of things that will kill us. Haven't used the potion yet. I reflected, and that was good. Got a glass shard there. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that, went, that went so well. I can't even... We're not getting cards, though, so we're... I don't know what's going to happen here. I don't know what's going to happen. Hmm. Okay. Thicket. And desert. And it's not... Probably not going to... Ooh, okay. Okay. You never know. Are we going to be able to kill it before... No, we are not going to be able to kill it before it attacks us. That's just against its religious principles, it seems. And also, we have indeed finished that thing right here. So, keep on stacking that thing. We have evasion bonus over here. Yeah, I just got really rubbish armor. Our evasion bonus is 52%. Let's do it. The hunt begins. Get him. Woof. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Got an orb of unity over there. Lo lost it, I mean. Didn't didn't go according to plan, did it? I guess all that's left is keep pushing. Let's try the Necromancer. Let's make a build for the Necromancer again, where we lower... Do I like lowering every creature's HP? Because the Necromancer has the... Magic... Oh, that would be interesting. This one over here. The Ancient Crypt. Lowering HP. Increasing attack speed. And base HP is probably not a bad thing. 
all of these, in fact, are probably not a bad thing. Oblivion is definitely not a bad thing. The Road Lantern? We got good things. The Bookery could be an interesting one. Uh, we definitely want the Grove. Do we want the Cemetery? Nah. We did... well... The, do we actually want the Grove? Very fast enemies are a problem for me. And the Cemetery is very slow enemies. The thing is, the Blood Grove is nice. So, we want the Road Lantern. We want the... Where's that? The Temporal Beacon. No. The beacon, the normal one. I don't know what that is, I'm scared of it, so let's leave it there. Spiders can be a problem. Battlefield is lovely. A vampire Mansion could be a good thing, especially for a necromancer, I would say. Mm, although I remember the... the yeah, let's go with the ruins. That's definitely very slow enemies. I think this is a good, this is a good uh, setup. Let's go for it. Level 3, necromancer. Start. Hopefully it'll go better. Anyway, Ancient Crypt can go anywhere whatsoever. And then we don't have uh, armor, we don't have basically anything out of this, which is uh, not great. Not great. Also, somebody explained to me in the comments exactly how the summon quality and all that sort of stuff works. And um, I think I get it a little, but I forget exactly the details. It's been a while since I since that happened, so... It's been a while since we played with the Necromancer, so yeah, it's good. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy to play with it. And we want just thickets and all the things. So we have our first amulet. We also have some Burks, which is nice. And off we go. This guy spawned immediately. Okay, that's perfect. Can't say I don't like it. We got a Jeweler's Lens. And now, of course, we're going to have two Resurrects, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we have a Skeleton Level 85. Let's not go with that. Can't put the, the the blood grove in, quite unfortunately. And well, actually, I can. I absolutely can, and I will. Let's put the blood grove right there. Let's wait for the next one. Those things don't spawn anything, though. Oh no, they actually do. Hmm. That was a bad place to have a blood grove, honestly. I'm doing badly. I'm placing things poorly. But as we saw last, in the last run. It, it is a good thing. We can just run with very little summons and all that. Okay, so we have all the things in the world. So let's put that over there. We have a grove for one. So that's not going to summon anything. The blood grove can go right here. It is a bit of a double dip, but we don't worry about that. And we are going to continue pushing. Not getting all that many nice things, all things considered, over here in terms of the items. We have more thickets. We're getting the thickets, though, so I like that because they increase our attack speed by twice the amount that the other things increase the attack speed. Oh, no cats. That's a shame. But we're not a thief, so we're not dependent on on um on the on things. <laughs> we're not dependent on on items. Or, I mean, we are, but we're just it's not as dependent. I think it is a huge difference. Because it's dependent on the quantity rather than the quality of enemies you kill. Being a thief with very specialized enemies is really, really bad. Anyway, we're still getting level 1 on enemy loop level 2. So, I don't know. We have a beacon. That is a good thing. Unfortunately, uh, it's not quite as good as I want it to be. And we also have an oblivion, which is a good thing. That is a very good thing. I'm liking our chances here. This is definitely a resource run, all things considered, though, so... Uh, look at that, we have a mountain. And we are gonna put the mountain over here. Our first bit of mountain. It's probably gonna be a while until we see harpies. But that's alright. This is... Oh, and we have a smoked ham. That's... Is that the first time I see a smoked ham? I don't remember seeing it. Maybe, maybe we did have it. It's just an item. Wow, we're getting a lot of th thickets here. Ah, well, that works. It doesn't work as well as I wanted it to, but it, I, that was a misclick. Don't worry about it. We got a kitty uh, uh, up ahead. Still in range, I believe, of my archers. Although I'll have to take a look. And we have a mountain. Let's put it over there. It is still in range of my archers. That is great. I would like a village so we could get some, uh, some quests. Those are nice. I like quests. And then we have all the enemies in the same place, but we have archers helping out. So, there we go. Thank you for the village. Unfortunately, it's not going to quite work as I 
wanted it to, but mm, let's put it over there. We have some meadows. Goes in there and some thicket. And we have a, um, a wood boy place. Not a problem. As long as it doesn't have vampires. Mostly it. <laughs> as long as it doesn't have anything to proc and to work off of it. We didn't get any quests from that! Wow! Wow, game! Why do you betray me so? Skeletal level goes up. Skeletal, that's basically improvements. Let's go with it. And... No, no. But, oh, is this an amulet? Hmm. Yeah, I like skeleton level better. Let's go with it. Wow, that was a betrayal. That was absolutely... I mean, it makes me feel not bad about uh, not put, not sacrificing things. I was sort of thinking maybe I'd put the... Hmm... just screwed it up. Hopefully the game is going to be smart. I believe the game is smart in regards to how it fills things. But it could be dumb. And by dumb, I mean traitorous and bad towards me. We're going to see. So yeah, what my what is my problem here? My problem is that I have a, th a, th a row of three, which means... Oh, I can believe in those guys. I forgot. Also, I can put this over here. Uh... Ooh, also, I have a Grimar. That is nice. Hmm. Uh, the Yeah, so basically, the moment I put the third, the 3x3 three three situation here, it might decide that this is the mountain rather than this is the mountain. And we summon that, which is a bit of a worrisome thing, but maybe the Necromancer is going to save us here. We have a really high level Grimar, level 5. I say really high, but really it's just it's just one level higher than we are right now. Just that we've been very, very unfortunate with the equipment we've gotten. We have another, another grove, and we will get the grove in. Let's put the grove over there. All groves around the spawn. Can't say I don't like it. It's fine with that. Especially because we have our archers. Exclusively because we have our archers. Uh, let's see. We have uh, regen per second, a little bit of defense. What is this? Regen per second? Well, that is an improvement, so let's keep on it. And uh, I'm under attack from this goblin leader. That is unfortunate, but the goblin leader decides to attack my skeletons, which is good. Because that is the correct, the correct decision. We have a really nice, very lovely amulet. So off we go to kill the wood boy. And as long as uh, my skeletons keep dying, I will not be taking any damage. Nope, I attacked. I need summon qual quantity. We have an evasion over here. Eh. It is nice. Is it better than summon quality? No, it is not. No, it really is not. And we're summoning warriors and all that. I mean, not right now. But things are things are looking good. I, I don't like that. Hmm. Well, there's four of them, so <laughs> that's pretty good that there's four of them because they can't spawn anymore. And it'll be a while until I reach there. So, good, good, good stuff. And then we have a Grove that I can put over here. And we'll keep fo keep rolling. I have another Blood Grove that needs placing. And another village that, get, that we get. Not a bad idea. Let's put it over there. And immediately besieged by, by some vile creatures of death. So I don't actually know what they are. It's the bandits. So, they're creatures, but they're also humans. At least I think they're humans. I mean, you can be a bandit goblin, for all I know. And we have some wheat fields, which is nice, and I'll put that. Not lice, that's a different thing, although, considering we're messing with um, scarecrows, it could get lice. You never know. You know how these things are. Do you? No? Because, you know, hay has... Either way. Maximum skeleton... Mm. Regen per second is nice. I'll go with that, actually. And then we have defense, a regen per second. That is... Uh, not necessarily a bad thing. I like the regen per second. And everything else keeps going. We have a quest objective. Nope, we have the quest reward. Attack speed increase. Yeah, I don't need that. And now we have a quest objective on the ass end of nowhere, really. The end of the, end of the map. What are you doing? Encouragement. I don't... Don't do that. Why are you... Oh, it's the leader. Right. That's fine. That's fine. As long as I have skeletons for them to attack. Which I might not. This might be one of those situations where I die. Hmm. 
Hmm. 10% chance to keep the card after placing it. Let's go with it. Okay. That was not great. That was the opposite of great. So we are going to believe in you in the face. Um, and uh, we got the Oblivion, which is fantastic. We have a forest, which we will place right there. Did not get it back. We have magic HP here. Not bad. We have a ring as well with a huge increase in summon skeleton level. Uh, I'll actually put it over there. It is very, very nice. And this one is also really nice. The maximum skeleton is good, but I'll hang on to that for the next round. Because I think we can survive for this, for this round. Especially against these guys. Because having maximum skeleton level ensures that I'd never attack them. And that is important. So, you guys are summoning bandits. I'll let two of you exist, and then I'll make you disappear. Woodboy has shown up. I think it's gonna be alright. Big monster of death. Taking the hits myself. Taking the second hit myself, I notice that was something that I thought I saw before, which is that um, the, the if I have two health, I will never take, or two magic HP, I will never take more than two magic HP, which is incredible. That's really powerful. Uh, the, or I'll never take more than two damage, is what I mean to say. That is that is very, very powerful. We have ourselves a, uh, a ring over here for summon skeleton level, increase summon quality plus, and we have a defense that is good enough. I'll go with it. We also have some grimoires. Unfortunately, not very high level. This one is really nice. Maximum Skeletons. It is really good, actually. And that means I can sacrifice... This one adds evasion. It's an amulet. But I will sacrifice uh, that. Actually, this one is nice, but I'll... I'll uh, we'll see. We have our quest objective over here. We should be totally fine. And there, there they are. The warriors instead of the skeletons. And we have a mountain. We'll put it over there. We have another mountain. We'll put it over here. Didn't get it for free, though. And we have a Rakesh that we'll put there, and moving on. I thought this was going to be the loop end, but it was not the loop end. We have a ring for attack speed and evasion. Not bad. We have another mountain. Hmm. Okay. A little bit concerned about things, as I mentioned before. That is a heal. That is meadows. The other thing about lowering HP of everyone is that healing stuff just has more of an effect because of course you know it's a percentage thing okay put it over there and what do we have over here we have a 5.6 that is nice but not as nice as the one i have i don't think that amulet over there is for evasion yeah i don't think i want it oh i will need to believe in something mm. that is really nice regen per second is an incredible that is an incredible amulet right there so, I got rid of you because... Oh, man, and one of them is an objective... Uh, is a... Uh, what the hell? Did that thing just spawned? It did? I, I saw it. Defense and evasion. It's a nice grimoire. Let's hope that I don't die here. Because, you know, one of them being... Let's hope that I don't get any... One of my important items stolen from me. Because I just saw one disappear from my thing. You can't fool me. You can still... You can rob me, but you can't... You can't fool me. I'm, good. I'm too good at this. Okay. You mother. You mother. Wow, that is... Wow. Well, serves me right for being an idiot. Serves me right. Because I was. We have a road lantern. Uh, where do I want a road lantern? Do I want it here? Mm, I sort of do. Let's go with it. The rocks, uh, kind of don't want it. Oh, we, do, we don't have a bookery, though, do we? We haven't seen a bookery yet. Let's hope for it. Because we should be fine for right now. We're not going to die or anything, so I can I can handle things. But we're out of time for the day, so we'll handle it next episode. For right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Loop Hero. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.